Mikey, and this is my sister, Margaret Elizabeth. And today, we're going to talk some more about kids' voices, because they're really cool to do. Now, actually, children, um, <laughs> most voices, right, we're going to use the space to cre help create them and what we do with our tongue. But beyond all of that technical stuff, it's all about what's going on in here. So many, many years ago when I started doing voices, I created Mikey and I created him in this manner because he was very, very intelligent and needed to get out a lot of sharp words. Later, he became a prototype for Izzy in Digimon. But if you notice, when I'm doing this voice, just like if you were to use this, the tongue is against my upper front teeth and there's this space right here. That's where it's being directed. And then for Margaret Elizabeth, his sister, her, her area here is much wider. And the tongue is no longer against the front, um, the back of the front teeth. So what I want to do today, though, is age them. Okay, because once you get the idea of placement, then a lot of it is about using the space and where it's formed. Okay, so we have Mikey, we have Margaret Elizabeth. What if, say, instead of eight and five, they're, oh, let's say, 11? Yeah, so now, if you notice, he's a little older, okay? And what I'm doing now, that tongue is kind of parked against my lower teeth, the back of my lower teeth. And if I wanted to make Margaret Elizabeth a little bit older, same deal. Now I've got all this space I'm using, but so much of that is attitude. For instance, okay, here's your casual girl, maybe 11, 12 years old, okay? That's really cool, I really like it. Now, say I were to be a little bit more prim and proper. Now, I'm not utilizing as much space as I was when I was a little hipper, a little more funny, okay? Get it? Same thing with a guy. Wow, that is so amazing, it is so cool, I can hardly believe it. Or, whoa, that really is neat. Um, my name is Alfred. Nice to meet you. Once again, so much of what happens is what goes on in the mind, or what I like to call mind magic. That's enough for today. Bye for now.